okay number one find the indefinite integral each of the following so we see here this one is the integration but before that i'm going to show you so y is equal to 2 x plus 3 this is my example when you differentiate so here 2 so 2x is equal to 2x power of 1 right so 1 times 2 you get 2 so x 1 minus 1 is 0 plus so when you differentiate the 1 without x you will get 0 so x power of 0 is 1 so you basically end up with 2 so this is this one so what happened if we interpret so you see here when you differentiate what happened is that you multiply the power right so first you multiply power and then you after you multiply power you minus one right so in integration it will be the other way around so you see here you minus one so you add one first after you add one so this one is multiply so this one will be divide power so you see here when you integrate this one you get two right so when you integrate 2 is equal to so integrate 2 dx is equal to so 2 here 2 is equal to 2x power of 0 so that means that you add the power with 1 right so add the power with 1 so you get 2x so which is equal to 2x divided by power power is 1 so 1 so you see here we cannot get back our 3 so our 3 will become a constant c so here plus c which is equal to 2x plus c so c is constant so constant is 3 so it's something like that it's opposite only after you key in the value later on you will only get c but since it is indefinite integral so you should the last one should be plus c so here when you integrate 1 over 2 dx so when you integrate 1 over 2 you get 1 over 2x like my previous example right so here is plus c you must end it up with plus c because we don't know what is the constant before it become zero okay so in this case if you don't really understand my example i will show you again so one over two is equal to one over two x power of zero right so here you add power with one so you get one over two x one divided with power so you end up with half x or if you have number here you just add up with x so b so 5 over 3 x cube dx so first you can take out the constant first so 5 over 3 so here you bring up the power x negative 3 dx so we see here for integration we add the power with 1 and then we divide the power so it opposite with what happened in differentiation so 5 over 3 so in this case you add the power with 1 so x negative 3 plus 1 you get negative 2 right so this one is negative 2 so this one is basically this one after you done this you see here you need to add c because you don't know what is the constant here so which is equal to 5 over 3 so here you get x negative 2 divided by this one is negative 2 plus c which is equal to so this one is 5 x negative 2 negative 6 plus c so since the power is negative you can bring it down so we get 5 divided by negative 5 6 x square plus c so here c we have this one so 1 over z x d x so we see here same like differentiation we need to take the power out so here 1 over so z is x power of half dx so again we need to bring it up so x negative 1 over 2 dx so you see here you add power with 1 divide with power so x so you see here once you start add up you don't have you don't have to put the uh, integration symbol so this one is plus one so divided by so you can directly calculate you can put it down here this one is equal to this one right add one divide power so you have finished this one don't forget to add c so negative half plus one you get half negative half plus one you get half plus c 
which is equal. So you see here divided by 1 over 2. That means 2 can bring up. So we get 2. So this one is x power of half is equal to third x plus c. Okay, if someone is asking me why 2 is bringing up, you see here 1 divided by 1 over 2 is equal to 1 times 2 over 1, which is equal to 2. So you see here when you divide with the fraction, so you need to multiply. So 1 over 2 will change to 2 over 1 and you will get 2. This is what is happening here. So D, so we have integrate 2 over x cubed minus 3 over x4 dx. Which is equal to, so you bring the power up to x negative 3 minus 3 x negative 4 dx. So what will happen here, you see here, add the power with 1 divide power. So here 2, so this one add the power with 1, so x negative 3 plus 1. And we know after we add up with 1, negative 3 plus 1, we get negative 2. Right? So minus 3 times, so this one is x negative 4 plus 1, you see here, add 1, add power with 1, divide power. So here is negative 4 plus 1, you get negative 3. After you finish everything, don't forget to add C, which is the constant that we lost before, right? So this one is 2 and negative 2 can be cancelled out, which is negative, right? Only negative. So x negative 3 plus 1, we get negative 2. And here, 3 and negative 3 can be cancelled out as well. And you see, this one is negative and negative. So you get positive. So x negative 4 plus 1, we get negative 3. And don't forget your c. So here we get negative 1 over x squared. So you bring it down plus 1 over x cubed plus c.